Good evening. This is All India Radio Kohima. I'm Nobin Pradhan with the evening news and these are the headlines. Nagaland joins the rest of the country in conducting dry run for COVID-19 vaccination. Ruling People's Democratic Alliance in Nagaland appeals to Government of India and negotiating parties to expedite ongoing talks. Indian Air Force deploys three more helicopters for firefighting mission at Zuku Valley in Nagaland. And Nagaland Health Department says COVID-19 sample positivity rate in the state continue to remain one of the highest in the country. The details. Nagaland today joined the rest of the country in conducting dry run for COVID-19 vaccination. In Dimapur, the exercise was conducted at District Hospital Dimapur. As per the guidelines given by the Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, session sites were set up consisting of three rooms, waiting, vaccination and observation rooms. 25 beneficiaries were selected in each session site for conducting the proposed activity. The dry run for COVID-19 vaccination was also held at CHC Mezifema and Urban PHC Duncan Bosti, Dimapur. The exercise was supervised by officials from the state and district level consisting of Mission Director, NHM, Deputy Commissioner, State Immunization Officer, other administrative officers, CMO team and officials from medical and other departments. The objective of the dry run for COVID-19 vaccination is to assess operational feasibility in the use of mobile application COWIN in field environment and also for assessing the preparedness for the vaccination drive as and when it becomes available. The ruling People's Democratic Alliance PDA in Nagaland has appealed to the Government of India and negotiating parties to expedite the ongoing talks so that final settlement of the Indo-Naga political issue is realized in an honorable and inclusive manner in 2021. PDA Chairman Chingwang Konyak and Co-Chairman Temjan Imna Along in a press statement today said the PDA continues to encourage all stakeholders to come together for our common cause and desire for peace, development and unity. It further welcomed the decision of the NSC and GPRN led by Nikki Sumi to join the ongoing peace process. The party reaffirmed their commitment towards serving the people of the state with dedication and steadfastness. PDA said 2020 was a difficult and challenging year, but the support of the people has helped the state government in handling the pandemic successfully. PDA also extended new greetings to the people. Indian Air Force IAF today deployed three more helicopters equipped with Bambi Bucket for firefighting mission at Zuku Valley in Nagaland. Defence PRO said an IAF helicopter was yesterday pressed into service to douse the fire at Zuku, but after the assessment of the extent of fire, it was decided to deploy three more helicopters today. Last night, an AC-130J Hercules aircraft of the IAF airlifted nine-ton load for firefighting, including 48 NDRF personnel from Guwahati to Dimapur. Nagaland Health and Family Welfare Department today said COVID-19 sample positivity rate in the state continue to remain one of the highest in the country. Health Department in its weekly COVID bulletin today said a total of 786 samples were tested last week, out of which 4% of the total showed positive for COVID-19. The department said the past week recorded increase in COVID-19 hospitalization, which signifies increase in moderate, severe and critical cases and undetected transmission in the community. It said 71% of the cases detected last week was from traced contacts, while 6% was from the armed forces and security personnel, 21% from travelers and 6% from frontline workers. The department said out of the COVID-69 deaths recorded, 63% deaths are below 60 years with the most affected being 40 to 49 and 30 to 39 age groups. Meanwhile, no positive case was reported in the state today with while 5 persons, 4 from Dimapur and 1 from Kipiri have recovered. The total recovery has reached 11,533 and the total active cases stands at 186. Advisor to Chief Minister of Nagaland, Technical Education and Elections, Medo Yoka, today visited Zuku Valley, which has been on fire since the past few days. During the visit, Yoka took a first-hand report of the ongoing firefighting exercise. The advisor was accompanied by Deputy Commissioner Kohima, Superintendent of Police Kohima, Zakhama SDO Civil, Village Representatives and others during the visit to Zuku. You are listening to the news from All India Radio, Kohima. Prime Minister Narendra Modi has said that today's startups are the multinational companies of tomorrow. He was laying the foundation stone for the permanent campus of 
IIM Sambalpur, Odisha via video conferencing today. Addressing the event, the Prime Minister said the real task of the management is not just to manage the institutions but also to improve the lives of the people, stating that management is based on the broader concepts of innovation, integrity and inclusiveness. The Prime Minister said those who are left behind in the race for development must also be included in the journey towards growth. The Prime Minister said the vast talent pool of the IIMs, both within and outside the country, can help realize the goals of globalizing brand India. He said the management experts can also play a vital role in making the local go global in the overall framework of an Atmanirbhar Bharat. PM Modi said from the farming sector to the space sector, the scope for startups is increasing and most startups are coming up in tier two and three cities of the country. He said the startups need effective managers who in turn need to not just run with the time but also ahead of the time to catapult brand India onto the global stage. Union Health Minister Dr. Harsh Vadan today said the COVID-19 vaccine will be free across India. Talking to the media, Dr. Harsh Vardhan said not just in Delhi but across the country, the vaccine will be provided free of cost. The health minister was visiting hospitals in Delhi to review the dry run drill for administering COVID-19 vaccine. He appealed to the people not to be misguided by rumors regarding safety and efficacy of the vaccine. He said the government will not compromise on any protocol before approving a vaccine. The minister pointed out that vaccine hesitancy was an issue even at the start of the polio immunization drive, but polio inoculation turned out to be a huge success saving mankind. He said guidelines for today's nationwide dry run was based on the feedback from the insightful pilot dry run held in four states. He added that except for giving actual vaccine, every procedure is being followed during the drill. The center has decided to extend disability compensation to all serving employees if they get disabled in the line of duty while performing their service and are retained in service in spite of such disablement. Announcing this, Minister for State for personal, public grievances and pensions, Jitendra Singh said the move will particularly provide a huge relief to young Central Armed Police Force personnel like CRPF, BSF and CISF since disability in performance of duties is generally reported in their case. In another employee-friendly decision, the Ministry of Personal recently did away with minimum qualifying service of 10 years for pension. Accordingly, the rule was amended to provide invalid pension at 50% of the last pay even if the employee had not completed minimum qualifying service of 10 years. A decision was also taken to amend the pension rule and provide pension at enhanced rate to the family of an employee who died during service before completing the requisite service of minimum 7 years. And as the nation fights COVID-19 pandemic, let us all remember to stay safe and protected by following these three simple steps. Wear a face mask, wash hands frequently with soap and water, or use hand sanitizer, and follow social distancing norms. And to end the news, a reminder of the headlines. Nagaland joins the rest of the country in conducting dry run for COVID-19 vaccination. Ruling People's Democratic Alliance in Nagaland appeals to Government of India and negotiating parties to expedite ongoing talks. Indian Air Force deploys three more helicopters for five fighting mission at Zuku Valley in Nagaland, and Nagaland Health Department says COVID-19 sample positivity rate in the state continue to remain one of the highest in the country. And that's all the news we have for you this evening. Good night.